what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel tonight i'm in the shop again and uh we're gonna make this ss cool again before we can fire this thing up and really get it running and really test out things uh we got to get the cooling system right when the car came to me uh there were some issues with the uh coolant lines and the way they were ran and the uh steam port lines it just weren't right so I put a little picture up here to show you what the lower radiator hose and I think I, I wound up taking it out before I, I found the steam port line issue and some other things. Also the way it was mounted. Now the radiator was just sitting on the uh, steel support. There's supposed to be rubber bushings that, that go up under that radiator. Let me grab those. Right here we got these that, that came in. Now these are the rubber mounts that go up under the radiator. Now. We are not putting a factory radiator in, but these still will serve their purpose. It has this little piece here that slides into the cross member. Before, the radiator was just sitting here on this cross member uh, with no rubber bushings, no nothing. Goes in that hole, got one for both sides. We'll get those in, get those in, and uh, get this radiator mounted. Got my flashlight, so let's talk about this. Cooling system. Got these, we talked about those. Kind of trimmed it up, shaped it so that's going to work. We're going to make a little flat bar piece that goes right over top of this and drill a hole in it so that holds in that piece of flat bar and I'll hold that radiator right where it needs to be. Cool. Going to do one here, going to do one there. Perfect. So the radiator is mounted. Got pads underneath, got the upper rubber pads. It's going to hold it nice, cool, whatever. Now, if I take this upper radiator hose and I put it in the factory truck situation. You see how this, this radiator hose here is higher than the fill point. Now on your cooling system, the, radi the fill point needs to be the highest point of your cooling system so all the air can come out, right? So I can do one of two things. I can cut that there and put one, of, I can cut this line and put one of the radiator caps and all that stuff in it. And that would be my fill point. And then this would just, just stay uh, closed off all the time or we can make it look a lot cleaner by getting this off of here and running it to this point. Now, obviously it can't do it on this water pump because that's blocked off and this is sitting up here. So how do I get a water pump that goes there? It's the LS1 water pump. The LS1 water pump has an outlet here that will work perfect for this situation. And at that point, you can see that radiator hose runs uphill just like we wanted to but here's the problem the truck style sits out three quarter of an inch further than the ls1 that means the truck style water pump lines up with all these truck accessories that the guys already bought so when i put an ls1 water pump on here it's going to sit back three quarters of an inch that's uh that's not going to work so ict sells a three quarter inch water pump spacer that spaces the ls1 water pump back out now, as far as that goes, there are other water pumps out there that will put it in different locations. Uh, like this, this is an LS7 water pump. Let me put my, my power steering pulley out of the way. Oh, spacer out of the way. Let me show you what the LS7 water pump is like. Now on the LS7 water pump, it doesn't exit here, it exits over there. Which is gonna be great for the G35, but not so much for this. Now, if you wind up needing this situation, you can use it, but you have to get a thicker uh, spacer. The three quarter inch LS1 spacers won't work with the LS7 water pump. So keep that in mind when you're picking out water pumps and where you need this thing to exit. So LS7, LS1, and then the truck style. That's how they exit out of the water pumps, okay? All of them you can use on the truck accessories. You just have to have the proper spacing to get this truck accessory bracket to work. Now, I have ICT Billet's uh, LS7 uh, accessory drive for the G35, so the LS7 water pump will work for me. I'm, I'm, I'm gravy there. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and order that. Now, this is a stock 5.3 Chevrolet pickup radiator hose. So 
if anything happens to this hose, he can pick one up, cut to fit, and it runs into this adapter. Now this is a step up adapter that steps up to this size. I can't remember the size off the top of my head. And we got a 90 going straight into here. It serves dual purpose, all right? One, it steps it up so we can fit on this thing nice without having to try to stretch a stock hose and you know messing up the integrity of the hose. Plus, it has this threaded port here that is gonna help us with our steam port uh, line. Now the steam port line can go here or down there, but what I'm trying to do with this lower, our intake tube is real nice and gonna be running across this area and I don't want this steam port line kind of messing up that whole look of what we're going with. So it can run up under here with this and then go into that. So my steam port line will run uphill to that the whole way. Well, that's gonna be all for now. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. God bless. Be safe. See you in the next one.